You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. It's been said that almost all solutions to human problems lie with nature. Only the ones willing to find them, get them. Pretty flowers and green leaves not only can make our eyes happy, but also have the ability to calm the senses. So let's begin the show by having a look at the beautiful and vibrant flower exhibition, which was recently organized at a university in Amritsar city of Punjab. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Nature is abundant with many such things that holds the key to human aesthetics, intellectual, cognitive and even spiritual satisfaction. Flowers are one among them and to celebrate the beauty and essence of these pretty little gifts of nature, a flower exhibition was recently organized at the Guru Nanak Dev University in Amritsar city. The University has been conducting two flower shows a year. One in the month of uh, November when we have the chrysanthemum show and then we have this show in the month in spring where we have the roses and the petunias and others coming up. These are the seasonal flowers. So this is for the benefit of all the students, make them aware about the environment and the beauty of growing flowers. So this is a regular feature and we, along with this we have exhibition of various other various companies who give, uh, uh, you know, for the implements for for uh, flor floriculture and agriculture so they are also on sale so is the vermi compost uh, and the bio fertilizers they are also taught to the students and they make them aware and sensitive them regarding, regarding the flow of how to grow flowers and how to make the environment a little cleaner and better named as the spring festival this was the eighth edition of the three day festival Visitors and nature lovers were delighted to see the wide variety of flowers presented at the exhibition. Apart from the display of flowers, beautiful flower rangolis were also presented, which were a treat to the eye. Today, a flower show has been in GNDU and there are many entries from the whole Amritsar. There is also a rangoli making competition in the rangoli. So you can see how beautiful flowers have been in the variety of petunia and dahlia have been in so many colors and I was so happy that people are so enthusiastically participating in the ports so far from the trucks The show was put up by the landscape department and the botanical and environmental department of the university the aim of the exhibition was to promote plantation of plants and help in environment conservation. Religious diversity acts as a crucial element which defines the cultures and traditions of India and binds the country all together. India has always been the land of mystics and Sufi saints and teachings of these saints still continue to enrich the lives of people in all corners of the country. Today we will take you to the Darga of Saint Jalaluddin Tablighi Rehmatullah in Assam that has also been serving as a centre for religious harmony for years. Situated in the Garigaon area of Kamrup district, the shrine of Sufi Saint Jalaluddin Tablighi Rehmatullah has served as a sinashaw of communal harmony for generations. Regarded as one of the greatest Sufi saints, Jalaluddin Tablighi throughout his life spread the message of Sufism and peace. People of all religious communities, be it Hindus, Muslims, Christians or Sikhs, visit the Darga to seek the blessings of the saint. When I came here, all people of Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, have given their own and have given their own and have given their own and have given their own. And this is a very difficult time. और लोग जो इंतकाल होने के बाद उसको पता ही नहीं चला अल्लाह के वली के पावर तो वही है। As the legend goes, Jalaluddin Tablighi Rahmatullah was born in the Baghdad's Tarbij area in 1146. 
After coming to Assam, he stayed at the Lankeshwar area and met Gyasuddin Aulia, a popular Sufi saint of Brahmaputra Valley. It's been said that the saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from here. बहुत लोग आता है बहुत लोग आना जाना होता है उर्स भी होता है उर्स का समय जब उर्स का समय आ गया हमारा कमेटी होता है मेरा कमेटी ने सारा लोगों को इन्वाइट किया और बहुत ज़्यादा भक्तप्राण लोग बांग्लादेश से आता है और सारा आसाम का लोग उर्स में एक साथ बैठा बैठा था एक साथ उर्स में आना था वहाँ तो बहुत मरतूबा है जो जिस मन्नत से आया है जिस मन्नत से आके यहाँ दुआ करेगा तब मानो आदमी का मन्नत पूर्ण पूर्ण होगा A pond is located in the premises of the darga and locals say that the water of this pond never runs dry. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. An Indian cake artist in India's western Pune city has entered the World Book of Records London for making a gigantic Milan Cathedral shaped vegan cake. This is actually the edible replica of Milan Cathedral which is a very famous monument in Italy. Uh, like I said the architecture uh, style is something that I am very fascinated with but before this also I have tried uh, many more like structures inspired from Indian and European architecture. So this is around 6 uh, and a half feet uh, long, 4 uh, and a half feet uh, tall and it weighs more than 100 kgs. Rachi Dhabal Dev was awarded for creating the most number of vegan eggless royal icing structures inspired by Indian and European architectures. The cake weighing 100 kilograms is 6.5 feet long and 4.5 feet tall was created by Dev in a month. Situated in Italy, the Milan Cathedral is dedicated to the Nativity of Mary, a feast day that celebrates the birth of the mother of Jesus Mary. Authorities in Jammu and Kashmir conducted an Asian water bird and other endemic bird census in Chatham wetland. The officials also went to other places for the bird census including Fashukari wetland, Manibag wetland, Prenchu wetland and Pampore area of Pulwama district in Jammu and Kashmir. इन बोर्डर्स को भी हर साल होनी चाहिए सेंसस जरूरी है क्योंकि हम हम भी अपने आप को भी सेंसस करते हैं इनको भी सेंसस करते हैं इस तरीके से हमको ये भी पता चलता है कि किस साल में कितने बोर्ड्स आ गए कौन कौन सा स्पीसीज हैं स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ लोकल कॉलेज टीम डॉप विद डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन वाइल्ड लाइफ कंजर्वेशन फंड अमंग अदर गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स द सेंसस एम एट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द पैटर्न ऑफ द माइग्रेशन ऑफ बर्ड्स देयर टाइप्स स्पीशीज देयर हैबिट्स एट्सेट्रा Bollywood actors John Abraham, Jacqueline Fernandez and Rakul Preet promoted their upcoming science fiction film Attack at Indian Institute of Technology Mumbai. Attack is a film about a super soldier and um we wanted to present something very very different to the audience um which is why we wanted to make something that's stylish that's cool and um we wanted boys as well as girls to enjoy this. Attack is a two-parter action thriller based on the premise of an Indian army soldier played by Abraham battling his personal inner demons becoming a cybertronic humanoid super soldier and fighting the enemies of the nation. The film stars Fernandez as Abraham love interest and Preet as a scientist responsible for turning the protagonist into a super soldier. Directed by Lakshraj Anand, the film is slated to hit the theaters on April 1. Bollywood film television and web shows personality showed off their trophies at the red carpet of the iconic Gold Awards in India's entertainment capital Mumbai. Vani Kapoor who won an award for power pack performance of the year for playing the role of a trans woman in her movie Chandigarh Kare Aashiqui talked about her upcoming period drama film Shamsher. Period drama hai main zyada bol nahi sakti kyunki abhi July mein aayegi time hai. जो है ना उसमें सब कुछ है उसमें सब कुछ है 
उसमें हर तरह का जॉन है उसमें ड्रामा है थ्रिलर है एक्शन है रोमांस है सब कुछ है This was a third edition of the iconic Gold Awards. Jammu and Kashmir has been the center of Sufism in India. The teachings of these Sufi saints have acted as a guidance force for many citizens. Recently, the Ours of Sufi Saint Sayyid Ghaus Sahib was organized in Rajouri district of the Union Territory, which brought together people of all faiths under one roof. Cutting across the religious lines. Hundreds of thousands of pilgrims strong the dargah of Sayyid Ghaus Park in Rajouri town of Jammu and Kashmir. The dargah witnessed a large number of pilgrims coming together in the spirit of humanity and commemorated the Urs or death anniversary of the Sufi saint. During Urs, devotees including women and children offer prayers and holy chadars at the shrine. Ye Sarkar Ghaus Park rahmatullah taala alaihi ka और शरीफ बड़ी शान और शौकत के साथ मनाते हैं और इस उर्स पाक की खास बात यह है कि यहाँ पर ज़िला पुंछ और राजौरी और मुख्तलफ अजला से लोग यहाँ पर इस उर्स में बिला लिहाज मजहब व मिलत यहाँ शरीक होते हैं यानी मैंने यहाँ पर देखा है कि हमारे बरदरान वतन हिंदू भाई भी सिख भी हर मजहब के लोग यहाँ पर आते हैं क्योंकि ये पीरान तरीक़त का दरबार है यहाँ से हर आने वाले की मुराद अल्लाह पाक के फजल और करम से पूरी होती है दरगाह होल्ड्स ग्रेट सिग्निफिकेंस एज इट वेलकम पीपल ऑफ ऑल फेथ्स टू सीक वननेस विद गॉड एंड प्ले अ डिस्टिंगटिव रोल इन नैरविंग द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ रिलीजन एंड बूस्टिंग सेक्युलरिज्म इन द कंट्री A community kitchen or langar was organized during the urs where people of all religions sat down together and ate the holy sacrament. Priests and scholars gave religious sermons and recited verses from the Holy Quran. यहाँ दुआएं की हैं लोगों ने सब ने अमन और भाईचारा कायम रखने का और अतवाक एहतात का और हर बीमारी की शफा पाने का यह हमारे यहाँ जान पीर साहब के आस पास में 30-40 परसेंट हिंदू बरादरी है वो भी इसमें शामिल होते हैं तो हमें इस बात की बड़ी खुशी है कि रजौरी पुंछ का जो हमारा ये हिंदू मुस्लिम भाईचारा है इसको मेरा रब कायम और दायम रखे द मैसेज ऑफ पीस एंड ब्रदरहुड कम्स आउट लाउड फ्रॉम दीज दरगाह एंड दीज साइट्स हैव बीन एक्टिंग एज सिंबल्स ऑफ कम्युनल हार्मनी फॉर एजेस And now we will take you to Jammu and Kashmir which is blessed with ample natural water resources like the Dal and Nigeen Lake and has enormous scope of professional water sports in the region. To give boost to it a training camp was recently organized in Srinagar where youngsters were trained under a professional guidance. Have a look. The quiet waters of Srinagar's Dal Lake recently cheered up for hundreds of youngsters as it hosted a special water sports training camp. Hamara focus rahega specific training held under the supervision of renowned water sports coach Bilkis Mir. The camp saw the active participation of both girls and boys. The high spirited players were thankful to their coach for helping them master the skills. They say it will boost their confidence level and prepare them for the national championships. जो ट्रेनिंग चल रही है वो दो तीन घंटे चल रही होती है क्योंकि हमारा मकसद जो है हमारा मकसद है नेशनल में पहुंचना उसमें मेडल्स निकालना क्योंकि जब हम मेडल्स निकाल रहे तो हमारी स्टेट का नाम जो वो रोशन हो जाता है और बिल्किस मैम जो वो पूरी मेहनत कर रही है हमें ट्रेन करने के लिए हमें जो कमियाँ है वो दूर करने के लिए ताकि एक जो स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन उसमें वो कॉन्फिडेंट आ जाता है फिर प्रैक्टिस की वजह से होप होता है कि नहीं मैं मेडल निकालूंगा क्योंकि मैंने पूरी प्रैक्टिस की है जो हम प्रैक्टिस कर रही है इज जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स जो इक्विपमेंट्स यहाँ पर हैं हमारी मैम की वजह से किसमी मैम की वजह से है और उसकी वजह से हमें बहुत हेल्प मिलती है यहाँ पर कैंप बहुत अच्छा चल रहा है यहाँ पर जो बिल्किस मैम है वो बहुत ही सीरियस सी प्रैक्टिस करवाती है हमें क्योंकि जो हमारा प्रैक्टिस चल रही है बहुत सी टाइम दे रही है हमारे ऊपर बिसाइड्स प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑन द लेक वाटर्स पार्टिसिपेंट्स वर ऑल्सो सीन लर्निंग द कायाकिंग एंड कनोइंग टेक्निक्स यूजिंग द रिसेंटली इंस्टॉल्ड अर्गोमीटर्स एट द नेहरू पार्क वाटर स्पोर्ट्स सेंटर Many even took to running and practicing several exercises to boost their stamina and enhance their performance. 
Lately, the sports center has not only been equipped with high-tech equipments but has also been fully upgraded to match international standards. The coach Bilkis Mir said, with such advancement, the day is not far off when water sports players from Kashmir will excel at both national and international level. दो तीन सालों से एक रेवोल्यूशन आया वाटर स्पोर्ट्स में चाहे वो इक्विपमेंट हो चाहे वो वो इंटरनेशनल लेवल फैसिलिटीज हो चाहे वो साइंटिफिक इनपुट्स हो लाइक आपने देखा होगा ये सेंटर पूरा प्रोफेशनल सेंटर बनने जा रहा है जिसमें साइंटिफिक इनपुट्स भी आएंगे लाइक फिजियो देन डाइटिशन देन वी हैव अ कंडीशनिंग एक्सपर्ट एंड देन वी हैव अ वर्ल्ड क्लास इक्विपमेंट हियर और दूसरी बात यह है कि we people are blessed with the natural water resources both flat water and wild water bachcho mein bahut josh hai aap dekh lijiye ki ke game bahut popular ho rahi hai aapne dekha hoga ki youngsters hamare state mein sirf football aur cricket ko dekha jata tha but aaj dekh lijiye ki water sports mein kitne bachche aa rahe hain aur kitna wo interest le rahe hain mujhe lagta hai ki inshallah inshallah wo din dur nahi hoga ki hum na ki national balki international level pe aise In the last few years Kashmir Valley has seen a tremendous growth in water sports activities. Many youngsters have shown keen interest in it and have made the whole country proud. The JNK administration is also taking all possible steps to explore the potential of the region for water sports by strengthening the infrastructure and holding training camps. In the last section we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. South defense of the smash hit Korean drama series Squid Game enjoy a number of activities inspired by the show in Riyadh. Saudi and foreigners residing in the kingdom had the chance to experience different games such as the tug of war the marble challenge and the walking on glass challenge as well as running towards the renowned giant doll yeah, it's uh, it's super cool i didn't expect it to be so realistic uh, you, you it's a very really physical uh, experience and i feel like in the movie it's amazing نقلنا هذه التجربة في الرياض وفي موسم الرياض تحديدا على مساحة 5000 متر مربع وباستيعاب 50 إلى 70 شخص في الراوند الواحد عندنا تقريبا 8 راوندات في اليوم الواحد والحمد لله رب العالمين لقينا رواج كبير جدا وحضور كبير أيضا من سعوديين ومقيمين انبهار كبير جدا من الحضور لهذه التجربة The experience is brought to the capital as part of the Riyadh season, an entertainment festival, and eight rounds are held daily with around 50 to 70 participants taking part in each round. Thailand held a fruit and vegetable banquet for 57 elephants at a botanical park to celebrate Elephant Day. The feast is commonly observed in various parts of the country but due to the pandemic and economic woes that have come with it elaborate celebrations were few this year We have it every year on on this day uh every year we have festival for food for them like a buffet uh the food weighs about 2 ton the table they put it on about 8 meter and uh this is a special occasion for them and we give them many kind of fruit that they like at the nongnoosh tropical garden in chonburi province however elephants were treated to two tons of fruits and vegetables artistically laid out on an 8 meter wide table the domesticated elephants have had few visitors due to the pandemic and campan says they are happy to see people when they do come to visit The Chicago River was dyed green as part of an annual tradition marking St. Patrick's Day holiday. The dyeing of the river, a process that begins early in the morning and takes several hours, kicks off a day of festivities including the city's St. Patrick's Day parade. Oh, we're excited. She's she's really excited. This is our first time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Crew poured 50 pounds of dye into the Chicago River using two large boards to spread the dye. Event organizers say the green hue lasts in the river for several days. 
The Midwest city has been dyeing its river green since 1962 according to nextcity.org. Carefully putting together a small windmill to be installed on rooftop of his home next to solar panels, Iraqi clean energy innovator Zaid Mohammed says he is now energy self-sufficient and can weather the frequent power cuts in Basra province. In Iraq, a dilapidated national grid often provides only a few hours of power each day, leaving many Iraqis to swelter through temperatures that regularly surpass 50 degrees Celsius. عند المنظومة الشمسية من بديت بيها بديت بشيء بسيط يعني جبت خلية صغيرة خلينا نقول اللي هي بحدود ال 100 واط أو ال 200 واط ونصبتها على السطح بعدين جبت عاكس وبطاريات وبديت استخدم بحدود الأمبيرين أو الثلاث أمبيرات بعدين الموضوع شفت تطور وبدل أنا والوالد احنا للأسواق اشترينا بعض المنظومات ونصبنا بحدود العاكس اللي هو 3 كيلو واط Iraq, one of the world's largest oil producers, relies on crude oil exports for around 95% of state revenue. It is trying to improve the capture of gas released during oil production to become more energy self-sufficient but with limited success. According to an engineer at Iraqi's Ministry of Electricity, Sara Al-Tamimi, the Basra governorate are planning to open three stations with a total capacity of 1000 megawatts to complement private sector solar energy products. Gas imports from Iran fuel the national grid and periodically halt when energy consumption increases. Iraq has signed several deals for solar power plants, including with companies from United Arab Emirates, Norway, France and China. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma Jafri and it's goodbye from the entire production team. <laughs>